Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the tarot card year theme. My name is Tiffany. Okay, so the reason I wanted to talk about this is because this is something that I put in my planner every single year. This is also a card that I pull every single year and I just kind of wanted to share it in case anybody else wants to do it. I don't even know where I got this idea, but I think if you do a little bit of a Google search, maybe I can even do that and put it in the information below. But this, this idea comes from a very specific reference and I'm going to go ahead and try to find that and put that in the notes below. I did not make this up. All right, so what is the tarot card year theme? So essentially the idea is, is that every year we cycle into the energy of a new tarot card from the major arcana of a tarot deck, all right? And then this card represents life lessons, life experiences, or opportunities that may be coming up during that year. There are two ways to think about your tarot card year cycle. The first is calendar year. So when you move from say 2023 into 2024, you can look at that as I'm moving into the year of my next cycle, the next energetic cycle. The second way to look at this is birth date to birth date. So you can look at it like I don't move into my new tarot card energetic theme until my next birth date. So for example, if you have a birthday in December, like I do, and you, you're saying to yourself, okay, my tarot card year theme starts on my birth date, which is at the end of December. So what that essentially means is that your tarot card theme for 2023 starts end of December, runs through the end of December, 2024. And then your 2024 theme doesn't even start till December at the very end of the next year when your birth date starts. So you're always a little bit of a year behind. What I recommend and what I've done because I've been doing this for several years now is really just pay attention, pull the card for 2023, for example, whatever the year is that you're in and read the description and really try to decide, does this resonate with what's going on? Does this seem to match up with the energy and what my experience is this year? And if you feel like for you, it's energetically correct that you run calendar year cycles, then absolutely go with that. If you feel like your experience is running from birth date to birth date is your cycle, then go with that. For me, my personal experiences is that it makes the most sense when I've been playing with this concept. For me, I have to run birth date to birth date because it just seems like when I shift into my birth date and I shift into that energy of the new year, that's the card that makes the most sense with, with what is going on in my life. All right, so hopefully that was clear, it clear as mud, but basically it's something to play with as far as the cycles go. And if you have any questions, let me know. So next I wanna get into how do you find your tarot card year theme number? So the idea is, is that we are going to take our birth month and our birth day, and we're going to add those numbers to the current year or the year that we're looking for the energy of. And the goal is, to add up a number that is 22 or less. So when you get done with the calculation, if your number is 22 or less, you're good to go. If you would like to see an article on this subject, I have an article on my website. I'm going to link it below where I explain all of this. I explain how to do the calculation and I also provide you with all the, the number running one through 22 of the different major arcana cards and the themes. So then you also have the theme for that year, okay? All right, getting back to how we find our number. So as I mentioned, we take the number of our birth month the number of our birthday, add it to the year that we're trying to find the energy for. And so in the example one that I have here, I have May 11th in the year of 2023. So what we're trying to do is find the tarot card that matches up with somebody who was born on May 11th, and they're trying to understand their energy for the year of 2023. So the way you would add it is May is five, right? So five, one, one. So you're going to add five plus 11, plus 2023 and you're going to get 2039 or 2039 then you're going to break that down because that number is too big and you're going to add 2 plus 0 plus 3 plus 9 and that equals 14. so when you get 14 you're under 22 so we're good to go and you're going to line that up 
with the list of major arcana cards and their numbers and you're going to see that 14 is the temperance card in this situation the temperance card pops up for this person so what that's really telling them is that they are really going to need to be finding the balance between competing elements in their life that might be work that might be career that might be the home they're going to be need to be very measured about their approach for things that year don't rush into things. Don't blow out your security. Make sure you're feeling very secure, but also know that you may have an opportunity to really try new things, but you want to do it in a very measured and thoughtful way. For our second example, we have January 5th in the year 2023. So in this case, January rep represents the number one, we have the number five, and then we have 2023. So when we add up those numbers, we get 2029. Then we're going to add those numbers and we're going to get 13, which represents the death card. So if you've been around for a while and you're familiar with tarot cards, you're going to know that the death card does not necessarily mean anybody's dying or that you're dying or anything like that. It's really, it's more about transformation and really breaking free. So think about the caterpillar who goes into the cocoon and it breaks free and it comes out as this butterfly and it's able to really reach new levels in life. And so that's what that means. So Somebody born January 5th in the year 2023 probably has undergone some sort of transformation this year, whether it was subtle or whether it was a big one. This card can also represent loss. It can represent coping with the loss. But if it doesn't represent a transformation, if it doesn't represent loss in some way, maybe they need to change some behaviors. Maybe they need to change some habits. All right. So that concludes my video about the tarot card year theme. Hope this was helpful to you in some way, and I'll see you next time.